Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about compression for guitar players today, and we're going to use the Atlas compressor from Source Audio as our demo subject. Now, Source Audio just released the Atlas compressor. They're really excited about it, and they should be. There's a lot going on in the world of compression, but we're going to talk about how to use it for what you might want to sound like. You're going to hear a lot of playing examples from me, like the first one you heard. So make sure you watch the video and really dive in with me as we take sort of, you know, a nice sort of trip through compression using the Atlas compressor. Let's talk about, you know, the knob functions and how it can really help us and what compression is. So the best way compression was ever explained to me was very simply. Someone said it's the sounds that are, you know, played quietly, they're brought up to a certain level, and the sounds played loudly are brought down, thus kind of compressing your tone. And this can help when you want to play clean sounds and have more sustain, you want to maybe use your fingers, I'll be doing that later in the video for some fun stuff, um, but it is a great sort of sweetener or thickener to your guitar sound. It can be overdone. And we're not going to do that, but we're going to talk about how to get the most out of a compressor like the Atlas. So let's check out the knobs. First of all, the clean tone, just a Strat clean tone. And we're going to kick in the compressor in a moment, but it's important that you know about the knobs. Threshold, blend, ratio, and output are what we're dealing with here. Now they have even some different functions by holding a knob, holding a button on the back, you can access even more finer tweaks, right? But we're going to talk about just what's on the front of the pedal. Threshold really is basically telling the compressor when to turn on. It sees a certain signal come out of the guitar, kicks in. You can adjust at when that happens and at what dB level by turning the knob up. So if it's all the way down, it's going to engage immediately. The ratio knob, think of it as less compression, more compression. We can get in on another time of how technical you want to be, and I'm sure they talk about it in manuals as well. Less compression, more compression. You'll hear what I mean. The blend control is a fairly new feature to compressor pedals in the last 10 years or so, where you can blend in your dry and your compressed signal. And then you need an output control, because when you compress your tone, you're also sort of decreasing the volume, so you need to make that output up on the back end. <laughs> Now let's kick it in, you're going to hear a big difference. It's almost sort of choking it in a way. And we can change that, right, because we want it to be a little bit more dynamic. So let's change the threshold, let's keep the blend where it's at for now and bring the ratio down a little bit. I can change the threshold even more and get less of that. Less of the quack. It'll start to quack a little on you when the threshold's down. But if we're doing that sort of thing, it can be really cool. If I want it to be a little more realistic, I'll bring the threshold up. And I can bring the blend control in, and I can hear sort of the 50-50 blend. I can change the blend even more, bring the threshold down, we can play around. Now, we can change different compressor types. And each one has sort of a specific thing to it. We won't go too deep into that. I'll talk a little bit about it in the next playing examples. But you can dial up three in that particular bank. You can hit this button back here, and then you can go to the red bank and get even more compressor options. Believe it or not, compression is a pretty detailed thing, and there's a lot of it happening in the Atlas. The manual will tell you more. I'm sure other folks explaining stuff will go deeper. But I like to just play around and have a subtle amount of compression happening. Uh, maybe take that blend control, maybe turn the ratio down. Turn it off. Because it's also sort of compressing frequencies, so it's bringing highs and lows and bringing those up too. And making it just sound a little bit more punchy and in your face. I use compression a lot in my videos so that the guitar sound really pops through an iPhone or something like that. But I try to dial it in such a way that it's not that noticeable. And that's what we want to do 
with our atlas. Now I'll show you a few other ways in the next few segments here of how I did that with that country tone in the beginning. We'll do some funk stuff and then we'll do a really fun sort of like Dire Straits Mark Knopfler thing. All right, so that's a little brief overview of the Atlas. Stick around for the rest of the segments. And don't forget, you can check out more on the Atlas compressor by clicking the links below. And that's also where you're going to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this video because I always have more stuff coming at you guys and I want you to be notified. So check out the Atlas in the links. Also check out all of the other stuff in the, in the description as well. All right, let's play some more guitar and I'll describe more features of the Atlas. All right, so now that you know what Atlas is and what compression does and how it can help us as guitar players, let's talk a little bit about how I got the sound in that first track. I'm just using this Mario Martinelli going into the Atlas compressor, a little overdrive from the Greer Lightspeed, some slap echo, <coughs> reverb, that's pretty much it. Now, I have the green bank of compressors engaged here, and I'm using the studio setting, which is more of that classic sort of 1176 studio quality compressor. And this goes great with guitar. You've heard a lot of people use it when you didn't even know it, because compression is best used when it's sort of subtle, transparent, but it feels good, and it brings a lot of things forward in the mix. And I say feel because you will feel it in your hands, okay? So let me turn it off. I'll just play a simple country lick. <laughs> I'll turn it on, you'll hear what happens. It not only brought the volume of every string forward, but it kind of brought some frequencies too. Try that again. And it gives us that sustain, which is really nice. So I did compressors when used in the right way and in a country type situation like this, it's really fun to just kind of pull all those frequencies forward and really get some nice bite and twang. All right, let's hear another application, another tune, and we'll talk even more about what Atlas does. All right, so in that track, I was definitely playing some funkier guitar stuff. Compressors help with that for sure. And the setting I was using in the Atlas was the optical, but in the red bank of compressors, because there's two different banks in this pedal right off the bat. You get the green and then you get the red. Each has three different compressors in them. And this is the optical one in this setting, and it's a little bit more like the circuitry in a typical guitar pedal compressor. Uh, and you're gonna like that when you play this funky stuff. It's, it's really cool because if you play something like this, I want that single line to be just as loud as my sort of, you know, spanky picking there. So I can do that. There's my settings, you can see what they are, and I can just kind of pound away. So it's pretty heavy, and you might not want to use that all the time, but once you start going, it off. So it definitely brings that stuff more to your face. You can change the threshold even more, change the blend, see what happens. Now, you hear some reverb on there too. You wouldn't normally have reverb or a lot of it with funky stuff, but when we're playing just as one guy with a guitar, 
makes it a little more pleasant. But you can hear how the compressor is working for sure. It's a good tool for funky playing. It's not necessary, but when you try it, you're going to be like, oh, I can play some of the bubble picking. And it grabs those notes. Really, really fun tool. Atlas does a great job of all of these compressors, but I thought it was really fun to throw in a track like that. All right, let's check out another track in another compressor setting. All right, so that was my little tribute there to Mark Knopfler, a little Sultans of Swing vibe that I had going because he used compression on Sultans of Swing. And from what I understand, it was the old Dan Armstrong orange squeezer style. And that's what Source Audio has modeled up for you here in this particular setting. Now we access the pedal, uh, the pedal setting by hitting a new bank of compressors. So when you turn it on, your light will be now red instead of green, saying that we have a new bank accessed in that toggle switch in the middle gets you three different types of compressors. Yes, like I said, there's many different types. This is one. Um, so if we turn it off, we want to hear it without the compression first. I'll play with my fingers, of course, a la Mark. <laughs> Sounds good. Got the number two position on the strat. Got to do that. Now, when I kick this in, it's going to grab those notes and make them really, really upfront and not have a lot of sensitivity. It's going to be completely maxed compression. That's why I have the, um, the blend knob down, the threshold is down, uh, and the output should match a little bit as well. <laughs> how long it sustains as well. Change pickup. And that's how I can get so much attack with just fingers and a light touch, because that compressor is grabbing it. When you do those, those bends, Especially all this stuff. Ah, I can do it right. Try doing that with just a clean tone, no overdrive, and it's going to be hard. This really keeps all the notes right up front for you. It's kind of like what country players do, and like I did earlier in the video, but this is a, a, a total different nuance altogether. So that's the citrus vintage sound that you can get from this pedal. Uh, and what you want to do is just always play around. Maybe I want more of the. Um, the dry signal in. I can blend that up. We can hear how that sounds. Maybe even take it more dry. Now it's maybe a little more Vince Gill. Let me bring it back a little bit. So it's a nice sound, a nice tool, I should say, to get a sound like that. And compressors, as we talked about, are often misunderstood, especially for guitar players. Um, and you can really, um, you know, add some new things to your tone, like sustain, change the dynamic quality, change how you play. It can help you out a little bit sometimes. And like I mentioned a lot, you're hearing compression on all your favorite recordings anyway, in one way, shape, or form. Uh, and don't forget, if you want to use this pedal, I like to put it first in my signal chain or very, very close to the first um, thing in the chain, maybe after fuzz, tough to say, but you want it to be hearing that signal as soon as it relieves the guitar, goes right to that pedal.
So that's that sound. It's the Citrus Vintage in the, uh, the Atlas compressor from Source Audio. Really cool. I'll wrap it up with you guys. Stick around and I'll show you that you can get this pedal with the links below. So thanks for checking out this video on the Source Audio Atlas compressor. I hope you learned something about compression and I hope you had a lot of fun checking out everything it can do with me because it's a really, really great product and big thanks to Source Audio for sending this to me to have a go on my YouTube channel for you guys. All right, so don't forget to click the link below to check out more on the Source Audio Atlas as well as my website for learning guitar called Working Class Guitar. I'd love to see you in there just for a small fee monthly. We do live Zoom group lessons and a lot of other stuff as well, so check that out. Uh, it's been a blast. I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm Corey. Take care.